Hey YouTube, it's ICU, and today I'm going to discuss jailbreaking the next upcoming untethered jailbreak for iOS 7, and I'm also going to answer a lot of your questions. Now, as most of you know, the other day before iOS 7's public release, I did create another jailbreak update video, and I will have a link to that on the screen now. If you're on the desktop version of YouTube, simply click the annotation. Now in that video, I did leave a couple of things unanswered and I want to discuss them now. So first of all, to start off yesterday on the 18th, Apple did release iOS 7 to the general public. Now, if you're not on iOS 7 and you wanna update, just go to the traditional settings application and then general and software update. And then it should automatically check and tell you whether or not you're running iOS 7 or 7.0 in the case of this fourth generation iPad. And if you're not, then it will prompt you to update. And I'm going to get to that in just a second because there are signs of Apple releasing 7.0.1 for the iPhone 5S and the iPhone 5C. Now, first of all, to start off, I'm going to swipe over to Safari here. Now, like I just said, preceding the public release of iOS 7.0, it was discovered through various logs that new iPhone 5S and iPhone 5C owners will be welcomed this Friday or tomorrow, the 20th, by a prompt to update to 7.0.1, suggesting that Apple has plans for another unifying firmware following 7.0.1, likely 7.0.2. So this is kind of an interesting situation. Apple has definitely done things like this in the past, and the recent one is iOS 6.1.3 to 6.1.4 on the iPhone 5. Now, because 6.1.4 was released so close to iOS 7, Apple decided against releasing another iOS 6 unifying firmware for all devices to bring them together past 6.1.3 and past 6.1.4. So instead, they decided to wait for iOS 7. Well, it seems like now 7.0.1 will be an update for the 5S in the iPhone 5C and will most likely be issued to fix various bugs that Apple discovered after iOS 7 testing. Now, as far as new devices are concerned and how they will affect the jailbreak, like the iPhone 5S with Apple's own new 64-bit A7 SoC or system on a chip, there will be some setbacks in development. On the 10th of September, iOS security researcher and hacker Pod2G sent a tweet to his followers that briefly touched on this topic. So while some exploits the evaders, the dev team behind the development of the iOS 6 through 6.1.2 untethered jailbreak utility and the upcoming iOS 7 jailbreak discovered may have survived Apple's transcendence of the now outdated 32-bit A6 chip found in the iPhone 5 and other devices, including the all new iPhone 5C. There will undoubtedly be a few that were unintentionally patched due to the process of evolution. And although there isn't a release date for the next jailbreak, or even a time frame for that matter, it's safe to say that the new 64-bit A7 chip will set the evaders back and force the use of their exploit discovery skills. Now let's talk about 6.1.3 and 6.1.4 for a quick second. Instead of focusing efforts on creating the first untethered jailbreak for iOS 7, little-known developer WinOCM decided to devote his time to putting a few iOS 6-only exploits to use in a utility to jailbreak 6.1.3 and 6.1.4. 1.4 that may or may not be released in the near future. Now, although development has already commenced on the future iOS 7 jailbreaking tool, a 6.1.3 jailbreak would certainly be beneficial to the public in spite of the fact that iOS 6 is now obsolete and is simply a distant memory in Apple history. So here's my advice to those of you on iOS 6. If you're on 6.1.2 or lower and you like your jailbreak and you're not bored with it and you like iOS 6 in general, just stay where you are until the evaders release an iOS 7 jailbreak. However, if you're on 6.1.3 or 6.1.4 in the case of some iPhone 5 owners, it really depends on what you want. It doesn't seem like, as of now, WinOCM is making much progress on development of an iOS 6.1.3 or 6.1.4 jailbreak so it may behoove you to update to iOS 7 if you're looking for some of the great features like Control Center, an improved version of Siri, an all new notification center, redesigned multitasking, and a complete system-wide UI change, then you may want to update to iOS 7. However, though, it is possible that WinOCM will release a 6.1.3 to 6.1.4 untethered jailbreak before the evaders release their untethered iOS 7 jailbreak, but it just doesn't seem likely right now. I don't want to claim that I'm predicting the future or anything, but the evaders have some history. They're all really credible developers 
for the very best iOS developers and hackers in the world, as a matter of fact, and they will definitely deliver on creating an iOS 7 jailbreak. So if you ask me, I would definitely update to iOS 7 if I was running iOS 6.1.3 on a device like this fourth generation iPad or update from 6.1.4 to iOS 7 in the case of my iPhone 5, which I actually did back in June following the first beta release of iOS 7. Now last week, Planet Being from the Evaders informed his followers that the team has quote, achieved unsigned user land code execution with the help of some exploits the team has been saving for this exact moment. Now as stated in his tweet, Planet Being and the Evaders quote, have a good platform for poking the kernel and are making significant progress in jailbreak development. However, of course, because Apple is releasing the iPhone 5S with their all new 64-bit A7 chip, they will still have to discover additional exploits if they want to include include support for all iOS devices that are out right now or that will be out as of tomorrow. And they will definitely do that. They haven't waited this long for nothing. So they will include the iPhone 5C, which is utilizing the same processor found in the iPhone 5 and also the iPhone 5S with its all new A7 chip. And finally, we have some more great news from Pod2G. So the famed iOS security researcher and hacker shared his confidence regarding the development of a public jailbreak tool for iOS 7 in a tweet to Pimskex, who's another member of the evaders. He said, quote, being more and more confident about an iOS 7 public jailbreak. That does not mean soon. So again, as for a release date or a time frame, unfortunately there isn't one. And although I don't anticipate it'll take months to develop an iOS 7 jailbreak like it did with the iOS 6 through 6.1.2 evasion utility, again, we won't really know for sure until the evaders get their hands on an iPhone 5S with Apple's new 64-bit architecture. So again, that's what I was talking about with the A7 chip, forcing the team to discover new exploits. So again, all of this is tied together. Take away from it what you will though. Again, if you're on iOS 6 and you want some of the features found in iOS 7, you might want to update because it doesn't seem like there will be an iOS 6.1.3 or 6.1.4 jailbreak anytime soon unless WinOCM really steps up and delivers. So again, it's up to you guys at this point. We haven't really seen too many jailbreak utilities in the past come from such small developers, but who knows, WinOCM may be the next Comex or Pod2G. I just wanted to provide you guys with all of the facts so you can make an educated decision. So of course I will keep you guys updated on everything related to jailbreaking and the upcoming iOS 7 untethered jailbreak from the evaders. So just be sure to stay tuned to my YouTube channel. I'll post everything here and don't forget you can still enter and win in my $100 Amazon gift card giveaway. Simply rate this video up and leave a relevant comment down below in the comment section. Also I wanted to mention that tomorrow I will hold an iPhone 5S giveaway. So if you want more details on that just be sure to click the annotation on the screen now if you're on the desktop version of YouTube to be taken to a video that goes more into depth on it and how you'll actually be able to gain an entry. And of course, if you want to be updated more often, simply like me on Facebook, follow me on Twitter and add me one of your circles inside of Google Plus. And until next time, this is ICU signing out.